This is Anatomy and Physiology 1, Biology 2114, Images from the Lecture Notes Manual. More information can be found at this website, www.mgc.edu slash faculty slash jpasto. Unit 1, Introduction. Figure 1-4, Glucose Regulation. This is an illustration of an example of endocrine system function. It's also a summary of an example of homeostasis. Now it's a very simplified view of glucose regulation. You'll get much more of this in A and P2. The donut shaped ring in the middle represents the cardiovascular system, the circulation of the blood. Uh, you'll get much more of this in A and P2. Glucose is represented by GLU insulin by the letter I. Now throughout A and P1 and 2 we use these symbols to represent increased and decreased in things. Uh, and I usually do it this way. I have an arrow in front of the parentheses and an arrow within the parentheses. Notice that these are opposite. Throughout the scheme the arrows in front of parentheses, whether it's up or down, correspond to one another and within the parentheses, the arrow represents the opposite condition. Don't be confused by this. If you have any questions, get with me. Now, glucose tends to enter the circulation from the digestive system and from storage. Now, this tends to increase levels of glucose. Turns out, glucose is very carefully regulated in the circulation. And again, you'll get more of this in A and P2. One of the major regulations of glucose levels is the hormone insulin secreted by a group of cells in the pancreas called the beta cells. Now, as blood glucose levels increase, this is sensed by these beta cells, leading to an increase in the secretion of insulin into the blood. Now, the increased secretion of insulin causes a rise in the removal of glucose from the blood, the end result being a decrease in glucose levels back to where they should be. Now, as glucose levels drop, this leads to a decrease secretion of insulin, which in turn leads to a decrease in the removal of glucose from the blood. Since less glucose is removed to the blood, and assuming it's still entering the blood, this raises the glucose levels back to where they should be. So, a very, very important example of homeostasis. <laughs>